Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. So let's start with the new chapter, chapter number 10, that is job costing. Chapter number 10, that is job costing. Now, if you will look at the ICAI study material, that is Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the study mat, you will find it a combined chapter with contract costing, but we will treat it as a separate chapter, right? We will study contract costing after this one, right? So for our purpose, job costing is a separate chapter, chapter number 10, a very simple chapter, nothing difficult, but yes, again, you should know cost sheet before uh, this job costing, right? Similar to what we have covered in the unit and batch costing, very easy, very easy chapter. You just have to understand uh, the cost sheet part before we start with the job costing, right? The second thing is in the job costing, you can definitely expect a very good question in the examination. The most important thing here is to read the question carefully and interpret the question in the right sense. That is very, very important in specifically in job costing, right? the requirement of the question. Now let's try to understand what is a job. What is a job? The costing you all know, we have studied enough about the costing. Now we should study about what is a job, right? That is very, very important for you people to understand first. Now let's take an example to understand this uh, thing job. Say there is one company XYZ Limited. Right, this XYZ Limited is a manufacturer of, say, t shirts. Right, this XYZ Limited is a manufacturer of uh, t shirts. Now, this XYZ Limited must be dealing with multiple clients. Right, it has received three di different orders one is from A Limited. The second order is from B limited and third order is from C limited, right? There is an order from A limited for 200 t-shirts, from B limited 100 t-shirts and from C limited 500 t-shirts, right? Of different designs as per uh, their requirement, right? XYZ limited prepare the t-shirts, customizable t-shirts. They say you give your designs, we will prepare it, right? clear so they have received three different orders one from a limited second from b limited and third one from c limited for 200 100 and 500 t-shirts so these orders are what these orders are particularly the jobs for xyz limited this is job number one where xyz limited will produce t-shirts for a limited right now this is job number two where xyz limited will produce t-shirts for b limited and this is job number three where xyz limited will produce t-shirts for c limited right so basically what are the jobs jobs are the specific orders from customers right now what x uh, xyz limited wants XYZ Limited wants to identify that what should be the selling price for A Limited, right? XYZ Limited wants to identify the selling price for this B Limited. XYZ wants to identify the selling price for this C Limited, that what should be the price they should be charging because these are the customizable t-shirts, right? So they have designed according to the wish of A Limited, B Limited and C Limited. Now, when it comes to charging the selling price, that what should be the selling price of t-shirts, right? Obviously, the XYZ Limited needs to identify its cost, right? The XYZ Limited wants to identify uh, the total cost of manufacturing the t-shirts, then XYZ Limited will add its profit and then fix the selling price for each individual job. Now, how to identify the selling price? What is the common question here? The common question here is, 
how to identify identify the selling price of each job the selling price of each job right this is the big question that we want to identify the selling price of each job it will it might be different right because the t-shirts they have customized according to the requirement clear now we have already studied that how to find out the total cost the profit and the selling price of a product how do you find that can you tell me how do you find that sir for that we need to prepare a statement right we need to prepare a statement and that statement is known as what that statement is known as cost sheet right so that means in case you want to find out the selling price of a particular job right if you want to uh, sell 200 t-shirts what is going to be the selling price of those t-shirts what is going to be the cost of manufacturing those t-shirts right you want to find out the total cost of a job the profit that we are going to earn from that particular job the selling price that should be fixed for that particular job that means you need to prepare the cost sheet right of a of each job cost sheet of each job now cost sheet you all know how to prepare direct material plus direct labor prime cost add factory overheads works cost right then add office administration overheads cost of production then adjustment of finished goods cost of sale uh, cost of goods sold add selling and distribution expenses cost of sales add profit sales right we all know how to prepare the cost sheet now in this case in case of each individual job job 1 2 3 we will prepare the cost sheet to find out the total cost of each job that is the first cost sheet will tell us the total cost of manufacturing 200 t-shirts for a limited 
and accordingly the percentage of profit that we wish to earn and accordingly the selling price we are going to charge right similarly for job 2 we are going to find out the total cost by preparing the cost sheet of that particular job of manufacturing 100 t-shirts we are going to find out the total cost the profit percentage that we want to earn right and then the selling price similarly for job number 3 clear so ultimately what is the goal the ultimate goal is to prepare the cost sheet of each job to find out the total cost in the selling price right that's it that is why I told you that you should know how to prepare the cost sheet right okay okay any doubts so conceptually there is nothing more in the job costing that we have to discuss right so I think we should move on to the practical part now let's solve a few good problems on job costing let's see question number one a factory uses job costing the following data are obtained from its books for the year ending 31st of December direct material cost is given direct wages given selling and distribution overheads given administration factory overheads and profit is given to you the first part says prepare a job cost sheet indicating the prime cost works cost production cost cost of sales and the sales value right we are going to focus on the first part only first so what you have to do is from the given information you just have to prepare the cost sheet now it is a very simple task right you will say sir this is a very simple question but when we are going to move on to the b part there the actual question will start right so first we are going to solve the first part that is a very very simple part let's prepare the cost sheet right and i know you people are going to prepare before i prepare it so what i'm going to write as job cost sheet job cost sheet <coughs> so we'll have particulars and amount only two columns like in the cost sheet because this the information given is for the particular job only right so what is given to us direct material cost is given to us direct material that is given as 90,000 then we have direct wages that is given as 75,000 from here what we are going to get is prime cost so my prime cost is 1 lakh 65,000 now what I am going to add in the prime cost I am going to add factory overheads what is the amount of factory overheads that is given to you in the question let's see it is 45,000 so from here what you will obtain is works cost that is 2 lakh 10,000 any doubts up till this point now this is a very simple cost sheet from the information that is given to us right all the information has been given to us so uh, what we are going to add is admin cost admin overheads admin overheads and what is the value of admin overheads 42,000 right so from here what you will get is cost of production cost of production you will get that is <coughs> two lakh fifty two thousand right in the cost of production what we are going to add is we are going to add selling overheads selling and distribution overheads right and that is to the tune of 52,500 52,500 and this will give us cost of sales from here you, you will get cost of sales that is 3 lakh 4,500 and profit is given to you in the question profit is given to you in the question as 60,900 60,900 so you will get the sales value that is 3,65,400 any doubts up till this point now this is a very simple question what we have done is we have simply prepared a cost sheet nothing else right from the information that is given in the question so first part is done simple 
I don't think there will be any doubts in this part, right? Now, coming to the second part, read the second part very carefully. In 1989, that is in the next year, right? This data is for 88. In the 1989, the factory receives an order for a number of jobs, right? For various jobs, they have received the various orders. It is estimated that the direct material required will be 1,20,000 for a particular job, <coughs> right? And the direct labor cost will be 75,000. Any issues? Sir, direct material cost is given to us and the direct labor cost is given to us. Very good. What should be the price for these jobs? Now, what you have to find out is the selling price, right? If the factory intends to earn the same rate of profit on the sales. Sir, what is the rate of profit on sales? Can you tell me what is the rate of profit that the company is currently earning? They say that the company wants to earn the same rate of profit, assuming that selling and distribution overheads have gone up by 15%, that is increased by 15%, agreeable. The factory recovers the factory overheads. Now the word used here is recovers. Great. The factory recovers factory overheads as a percentage of direct wages and administration and selling and distribution overheads as a percentage of works cost. This is not workers cost. This is works cost, right? Based on cost rates prevailing in the previous year, right? Now, what happened here is that, sir, you have to find out the cost. You have to find out the selling price for these jobs, right? That means you will prepare the cost sheet. What you, uh, what you are going to prepare the cost sheet. One thing is clear. Let's prepare it. We'll say job cost sheet, job cost sheet for 1989. That is the next year, right? Great, sir. So we are going to have particulars and amount. First is direct material cost, direct material cost it is given to uh, uh, us as 1 lakh 20 thousand 1 lakh 20 thousand right direct wages or labor cost that is given as 75 thousand right so what will be my prime cost from here what is going to be my prime cost from here that is 1 lakh 90 5000 any doubts up till this point right next what do you want is next we are going to have factory overheads factory overheads now read the information very carefully the question says the factory overheads are recovered as a percentage of direct wages the question has given you that it is recovered as a percentage of direct wages but nowhere in the question it is specified what is the percentage is it specified anywhere that what is the percentage of factory overheads as a uh, of direct wages i want to apply some percentage i will say some percentage of direct wages is 75000 but sir i don't know the percentage that is the biggest problem but i can calculate percentage from this budgeted data of the previous year read the last line carefully he says based on the cost rates prevailing in the previous year now the previous year data becomes my what budgeted data so i can calculate the percentage from the last year right the last year cost sheet we have already prepared so last year my factory overheads were 45000 and my direct wages were 75000 so what is the percentage if i want to calculate i'll say factory overhead these, these will be my working notes factory overhead factory overhead absorption rate right that will be budgeted overheads that is 45,000 of the previous year this one 
right divided by direct wages 70 5000 multiplied by 100 so this will be 60 percent so i have got the percentage now that factory overheads will be 60 percent of my direct wages that is 75000 any doubts up till this point so my factory overheads will be what my factory overheads will be 45000 from here what i will get is the works cost works cost is uh, 2 lakh 40000 right now i have to add admin overheads here admin overheads now read the question again the question says that administration and selling and distribution overheads as a percentage of works cost right now again the percentage part is missing you are not given what percentage you are just given that it is to be recovered as a percentage of work works cost but what percentage sir i don't know that means i will have to calculate the percentage on the basis of the budgeted data of the previous year right so in the previous year my works cost is 2 lakh 10 thousand and my admin overheads are 42 thousand right so that means i can calculate my another working note will be admin overheads admin overheads absorption rate that will be 42,000 that is the administration overheads divided by works cost that is 2 lakh 10 thousand multiplied by 100 this comes to 20 percent right so here what i am going to apply is 20 percent of 2 lakh 40 thousand clear how we are uh, calculating the percentages this comes to 48 thousand right from here what you will get is the cost of production cost of production 2 lakh 88000 now in the cost of production what we are going to add is selling overheads now what is the information given regarding the selling overheads it is the same information that selling and distribution overheads are recovered as a percentage of works cost but the percentage is missing so we have to calculate that absorption percentage on the basis of the budgeted data of the previous year selling and distribution overheads 52500 and works cost is 210000 so if i have to calculate the selling overheads the selling overheads absorption rate so what i will take is 52500 that is my selling overheads in the previous year divided by my works cost that is 210000 multiplied by 100 so this will come to 25% right now there is another information in the question that is given that selling and distribution overheads have gone up by 15% that whatever is the normal percentage that you have calculated the selling and distribution overheads have increased that by 15% right so here i will say first i will take 15 per uh, sorry 25% first i will take 25% of 2 lakh 40 thousand right this is the normal circumstances but they say that selling overheads have increased by 15 percent so i will multiply it by 115 percent right to increase it by 15 percent so my total selling and distribution overheads will be 69,000 clear this 15 percent part is clear the question uh, says that whatever is the selling overheads in the normal circumstances that is 25 percent of 2 lakh 40 thousand but increase it by 15 percent right increase it by 15 percent now there is a contradiction in this part listen to it very carefully in some of the books what you will find is that the selling overhead absorption rate is 25 percent right and they say the selling overheads have increased by 15 percent what they have done is they have added 15 percent here and they say the total is 40 percent 
right and here they will apply 40 percent of 2 lakh 40 thousand that is an alternative way of doing it right but the right way is this under normal circumstances 25 percent whatever you get you increase it by 15 percent right so both the ways are correct in some of the books you will find it like that that's why i'm clarifying in uh, beforehand that you people don't have the confusion this is 3 lakh 57,000 this is my cost of sales right now coming to the profit part and the sales part read the question carefully again he says what should be the price if the factory intends to earn the same rate of profit sir what what it means by the same rate of profit it means that the rate of profit which the company earned in the previous year the company wants to earn the same rate of profit then how you can calculate the profit rate in the last year the company earned 60900 as the profit and the cost of 304500 so if you are required to calculate the profit rate if you are required to calculate the profit percentage how you are going to calculate that sir what is the profit earned 60900 60900 and what is the cost 3 lakh 4500 3 lakh 4500 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 so what you have to do is you have to calculate the percentage so this comes to 20% of cost. The question says intends to earn the same rate of profit on sales. Sir, obviously the profit on cost will also remain the same. The profit percentage will remain the same, right? And the profit is to be applied on the cost only. So the profit is, my profit is 20% of 3 lakh fifty seven thousand right so this comes to three lakh fifty seven thousand multiplied by twenty percent seventy one thousand four hundred right so the final figure that is the sales value is going to be four lakh twenty eight thousand four hundred so this is the price that you have to charge from the jobs Right. So these kind of questions are expected in the examination, definitely expected in the examination, sir. Right. This is a simple cost sheet and this cost sheet becomes the base for the future. This becomes the budgeted figures and this is your job cost sheet. Right. And these are your working notes that you have to prepare in the examination. Any doubts? I hope this is clear. If you have any confusion, now do one thing read the question again carefully right and then listen to it again and again and again listen to the lecture again and again you will try to uh, you will build linkages between the things right you will be able to understand definitely if not once twice three times four times five times you will definitely be able to understand the each and everything right so question number one is done in the next lecture we'll try to do question number th uh, two and three we have three questions basically right or uh, in the next lecture we might be able to do question number two only let's see whatever we are able to do we'll try to do right because question number three is again very good question if you if you people want to try on your own question number two you can do it right so this is the question all of you must be having the question files with you or you can get it from the android mobile app right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much